Hi there. Now we're given that the first differential of f of x, f dash of x equals 3 minus x squared all squared divided by x squared, x not equaling 0. And now we're given that the point minus 3, 10 lies on the curve with equation y equals f of x. And for this part of the question, we've got to find f of x. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, to work out what f of x is or y, y would be equal to f of x then. What we've got to do is work out what the integral of this is with respect to x. We know that if we differentiate this, we get this result. So working backwards, we've got to integrate this. Now in an earlier part to this question, we had to show that this expression here was the same as 9x to the power minus 2 minus 6 plus x squared. So it's more convenient then to turn it into this form. Now you've got three terms here. We're integrating all of it, so we'll just put that in brackets. So we're integrating with respect to x. And in the usual way then, integrating terms like these, we just have 1 to the power, okay, so that's going to give us 9x to the power minus 1, and we divide by the new power, so that's divided by minus 1. When it comes to integrating a constant, we just put an x on the end. So this one would be minus 6x. For this term here, again, add 1 to the power, x to the power 3, and divide by the new power. What we mustn't forget, though, is the constant of integration, which I'll call plus c. Let's tidy up the terms, OK? There's only really this one to tidy up, so that gives us 9 divided by minus 1, which is minus 9, multiplied by x to the minus 1. x to the minus 1 is the same as 1 over x, so it's going to give us minus 9 over x. Then we've got minus 6x and then plus x cubed over 3 and plus the constant of integration, plus c. Now we need to work out what that constant of integration c is and we can do this very easily. We've got a condition. That condition is that the curve f of x passes through this point here. So we know that when x equals minus 3, okay, the y value is 10, so y equals 10. Or you could say exactly the same using the fx notation. That is f of minus 3 equals 10. And so it's just a question now of substituting these values into our equation here to work out what c is. So what we would therefore have is that 10 for y would equal minus 9 divided by our value of x, which is now minus 3. So we've got minus 9 divided by minus 3. And then minus 6 times x, so that's minus 6 times minus 3. And then plus x cubed over 3, so that's plus minus 3 all cubed over 3, and then plus the constant of integration c. So tidying this up, minus 9 divided by minus 3 is going to equal 3. We've got minus 6 times minus 3, which is plus 18. Here we've got minus 3 all cubed, which is minus 27. We divide it by 3, so it's going to be minus 9, and then plus c. So we therefore got 10 equals, well, 18 take away 9 is 9, plus the 3 there is 12, so we've got 12 plus c. Take 12 now from both sides, and that leaves us with c equaling 10 take away 12, which is minus 2. So I can put this value back into here, and so therefore we've got f of x, okay, equals, and then we've got 
Well, I'm going to change this round, actually. I'm going to put the positive term first. So we've got x cubed over 3. Then we've got minus 6x and minus 9 over x. And then plus the constant c, so we're adding minus 2. So that's just simply minus 2. But any order of these terms would be fine. Okay?